Okay, so I got a new tripod and I figured I would do a review on this. I've already taken it apart um, and set it up just so I can not look like a complete idiot when I do this. But uh, this is uh, what I've been working with beforehand. Um, it is a very, very basic tripod. It's got a quick release and some other stuff, but that's pretty much it. I've added these LEDs um, uh, just as uh, ambient light if I wanted to, and I might add it to the new one, but um, anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and start the review, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so I opened this tripod up and took it out. I, I'm really glad that uh, it comes with a very nice carrying case. Uh, also comes with a strap, um, just kind of helps. Um, it's pretty well made. Uh, the first thing that I noticed about this tripod is that it's really well made. All the locking mechanisms are very, very tight. Uh, they have very little play in them. I noticed that uh, the movement up and down um, with the two extending telescoping um, arms are very, very good. The legs are very adjustable with uh, three telescoping sections. They also position in three different ways, which is great if you have to span a wide area um, but still want to get close to the ground. But then you also can increase the telescoping part which will go into the main tripod base. The uh, rotational section that I'm playing with right here is very smooth. Uh, it's also noted with degrees and when it's locked it's very rigid. Uh, I very much enjoyed that. Uh, it also has a ball head and quick release plate which is really nice. Um, for moving from one tripod to another or from one action to another. This is the ball movement on this. It goes all the way to 180 degrees down, so or 90 degrees down, I guess, and will allow you to move in any direction with that ball joint, uh, which is fairly common. Uh, it has two positioning telescoping sections. This main one here that you uh, rotate with the orange chuck and then the other one which is that soft uh, rotating rubber chuck, um, I guess you could call them. Also, one of the uh, legs here um, comes off, which I'll be doing here shortly. The entire head assembly does come off as well, which is very useful because you can take this leg off, it's the one with this padded soft section there, and you can attach the head to it. Again, the rotational section and the ball pivot are all on it, and you can use it as a monopod. You can use it um, at full length, or you can use it fairly short, which is great. Gives you some good close angles and smooth transitions. Uh, it's very easy to disassemble and reassemble it's very soft to the touch and very uh, very easy to use. Then when you put the leg back on, you can throw the entire head back onto the tripod and you can have uh, a nice, very stable tripod. I have um, flipped the legs all the way over uh, on several different occasions, uh, usually when I want to get a very, very close, near shot, I can, uh, like when I want something, uh, when I'm running something through my table saw, I can flip this over with my camera in the tripod and it's below the legs, uh, which gives me a very, very nice low angle. Anyway, that is the tripod and if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions. I do my best to answer them every single time. And thank you and I will catch you on the next one.